What's up, Bob Mortgage Nation? This is a 20th episode of the Ask Bob Mortgage Show. You have questions, I have answers. Great, great question. What right. I want to be able to do is give you world life experiences that I've been going through. So what do we do on this show? Well, it's a platform for me to be able to answer your questions. You see, every day you guys are out there asking questions on social, and then you're hashtagging mm -hmm. Ask Bob Mortgage. So if you have a question, hashtag Ask Bob Mortgage. My team's gonna go through them every day, figure out the questions they want me to answer, and then somebody's gonna be in the hot seat asking me the questions. This week, we have our awesome Marianne asking me the questions. Miss Green, what's up? Let's go. We got okay. some questions. Marcel on Facebook asks, Hey, are you having any classes soon on mortgages? Any classes on mortgages? Yes. Okay, yes, we, we, uh, we roll with classes every month. Um, every month we do, we do well, and you see them a lot because we yeah. do them here at our, uh, at our event center. So, guys, um, okay, we have one coming up at, uh, February 26th. Hmm. February 26th. Now, I don't know all the details, but it's going to be about financing the next generation of home buyers. So I do a lot of different events. We do financing the next generation of home buyers. I teach um, on how to market and brand mm -hmm. yourself, how to bring in video education into your business, regardless of what industry it is. We do a lot of, uh, of educational events uh, all across uh, the state of Texas, and obviously I use social platform to do it on a national basis. But the next one for financing the next generation of home buyers is uh, February 26th. If there's any questions you want to see a schedule, uh, go ahead and email Bob Mortgage Marketing. So Bob Mortgage Marketing at wvmb.com, and that will get it to my marketing team, and they will throw out the schedule for you to let you know what we have upcoming. But thanks so much for the question. I appreciate that. All right, what else we got? We got another one. Panda 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 one on Instagram ads. Can you give me some information about buying a house with a friend? Will we get the same benefits as a married couple? Hmm. Interesting. Panda, panda, panda one. I know who you are, and I appreciate that question. Uh, are you getting married? Or, no, this is for a friend, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Come so on. for a friend, panda, panda, panda one. Mm -hmm. Look, okay, so th there are going to be some differences, okay? I'll, I'll be honest with you. So if you're buying a house as a married couple, then there are going to be some advantages as it relates to, like, mortgage interest deduction, um, you know, mortgage interest deduction, if you're, if you're married, you can write off interest up to $750,000 if you're married. Now, if you're filing single, hmm. okay, it's only $375,000. So there's going to be a difference in what you can write off uh, in interest. The same thing would apply for like mortgage insurance or even capital gains taxes. There, there's going to be a limit uh, if you're single to what you get to, to write off and deduct versus a married couple. So there's definitely going to be some advantages mm -hmm. uh, doing it married. But let me kind of be honest with you. Like, if you're buying it with a friend, the other side of this is there's not really any any difference, friend or or married, when it comes to the loan itself and how we're going to underwrite it. Because a husband and wife are, are two individuals buying the home together, married. Right. You know what? I'm looking at the credit individually, and then we take the lowest middle score of both parties. So let's say let's say you had. Uh, a score of 720, right. okay, and you were our married and buying a home together, and my score, let's say, was 615, then we would use the 615 credit score, not your higher oh. score, right, yeah. Huh. So if you're buying with a friend, it won't matter because that's still the same way, married or friends, mm -hmm. if we're friends buying a home, we're still gonna use the 615, not the 720, okay? Yes. So y y buying as a friend, you're not gonna get any differences uh, as it re relates to the loan approval or interest rates or anything like that. There's no differences as a friend or buying it together as a, as a married couple. The advantages are definitely going to come uh, from uh, the tax side of that. And I would definitely tell you to uh, consult your tax advisor, Panda 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 One. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got? We got another one? Let's see. Stacy on Facebook committed on, on the 15th episode on the... Minute Mortgage Solution? Yeah, my One Minute Mortgage Solution, the 15th episode. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's saying, let's see. Is that the fun lady at the desk in the lobby? Wait a minute, wait a minute. She was awesome, and we chatted with her for a bit on Monday. Oh, too funny. Also, great information on the mortgage side, too. But funny, Dwayne, dear, is that me? 
You've got to be kidding. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Brandon, roll the video on that one, buddy. All right, here's what we had. We had a lady come to us buying an investment property. The challenge was she was self-employed and wrote off all of her income. So how do we get this loan done? Yeah, okay. I mean, that was, look, I tried, I tried to bring... I tried to bring some good content in my one minute mortgage solution, and there you are just hopping around like a little reindeer doing what you did. You know what? You know, I like you. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I got you out there on social and I got people commenting yes. about you, not about the one minute mortgage solution. Oh, right. She's awesome. And you know what? Every day she greets us every day. She makes, she makes us feel awesome about coming into this building. You lift up everybody around you. You smile. You're good people. I just love, I just love people. You know? Yeah. I love people and Y'all are the one. And people love you, obviously, by the fact that I got no comments probably on the One Minute Mortgage Solution about mortgages, <laughs> about you being a reindeer. So, good job. Thank you. Any more? Any more? That's it. That's it? Hey, That's guys, it. I really appreciate you, as always, taking the time to consume my content, to just listen to it, engage with me, asking questions, and hashtagging Ask Bob Mortgage. You keep asking questions, mm -hmm. I'll keep answering them. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, look at that. I'm still nervous. You did so good.